I am here today bringing you all of the deals from the five quarter store here in September of 2023. So if you love the Dollar Tree and getting all of those brand new finds, give this video a thumbs up and let's get going. We're kicking it off with holiday gear, specifically Halloween is here. I mean, it's not actually here, but all of the decorations are out. Everything you could ever want, wall decorations, stickers, home crafts, tchotchkes that you have to dust later, which is why I didn't buy any. But if you go down one of the aisles a little bit, definitely in the plus section and then some smaller items, you'll find pumpkins, lots and lots of pumpkins. You'll even find a black and white plaid pumpkin. It's fabric, I'm a little obsessed with it. Now I don't decorate, but I was so tempted to pick up these pumpkins. I feel like they work for Halloween, they're gonna work for Thanksgiving. I don't think they'll work for Christmas, but they'll just work for like the entire fall season up into December. They're adorable. There's varying sizes, colors, shapes, and price points. Not only do we have $1.25, but if you go to the plus section, you'll hit three and $5 for much larger pumpkins for your home decorating. I think these larger ones are perfect to decorate your front porch. This was such a cool find. In the party supplies and like wedding section of my store, I found not only cupcake liners, but cupcake liners that were wrapped in silver. They were really beautiful. And right next to those, I saw cake decorating items, piping bags, piping tips at the Dollar Tree. You're gonna pay so much more than $1.25 anywhere else. You go to Walmart, they're gonna be way more expensive. Are they even going to work? Well, I decided to buy them, put them to the test and try them out for you. So I made cupcakes, got some chocolate frosting, used the piping bags, used the Dollar Tree piping tips, and sure enough, my friends, they work just as well as anything you could get from Walmart. I give my Christine stamp of approval on the cupcake and cake decorating items from the Dollar Tree. Now, if you're into those crafts, I know you're gonna want those sponge brushes. They're so handy. I've used a ton of them myself when I'm like staining wood pieces or using polyurethane, but don't go to the craft section. Take a little walk and go down the hardware section because you'll get a much larger package for the same price. It's a good deal no matter where you get it. If you wanna get it from the craft section, that's fine, but you'll get a better price and more brushes in the hardware section. So keep your eyes open for that. I had to go down low, it was on the bottom shelf. If you're still looking for back to school items, I was in Walmart recently and I saw one of those small squarish rectangle, I know that's not the same shape. Geometry. <laughs> Whiteboards at Walmart, it was almost $6, like $5.79 or something like that. The exact same size whiteboard is $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. It's the same. Do not get those at Walmart. Run on over to Dollar Tree and pick them up there. This was a really fun new find. In my Dollar Tree Plus section for $5, they have these amazing glass water bottles. Look at this thing. The, a ton of different colors. This piece peels off. It's dishwasher safe. It's got a really cool bamboo lid with a little rope toe thing, but I can't believe what a nice glass water bottle you can pick up for only $5. If your Dollar Tree has a plus section, you can get different colors for all of your kids. They can take them to school. You can take them yourself, put them in your purse, put them in your car. Um, this was a really high quality find. Here's some items that were coming in handy for me ponchos. I'm going backpacking with my daughter in the mountains. I saw these ponchos at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. What a great item to throw into your backpack when you go hike in the mountains. You never know when an afternoon thunderstorm is going to come up. Not a rain jacket, but a poncho is awesome because it can also go over your backpack. So I picked those up. I got one for her, one for me, and tossed that into my backpack as soon as possible. And also, guess what else I found? A prepper pantry fire starter kit. What? I have never seen this at Dollar Tree before. This quick survive fire starter lights any fire fast. There's three pouches in here. It's totally waterproof. It says it'll start a fire literally anywhere. I am putting this in my backpack as well. Like what if it's raining or what if it's like wet and mossy on the ground and I can't start a fire? I am very excited to give these a try. And at $1.25, it definitely didn't break the bank for something like this. And 
30 year shelf life. Unbelievable. Crazy. I've mentioned this one before, but I still think it's an amazing find. There was a drive in my neighborhood or community for family crisis centers, and they were looking for hygiene items, brushes being one of them. They wanted brand new hairbrushes, so I went to Walmart. First of all, they were all sold out because everybody else was buying brushes, but they were about three to four dollars. Went to Dollar Tree, exact same quality, even slightly better. The brush head was a little larger, a dollar twenty-five. It's the same. So if you're looking for some brushes, you have a couple of daughters, you just want one for easy travel for your luggage, hit up the Dollar Tree. They're surprisingly legit. Everyone's favorite section in the Dollar Tree, well, I don't know if it actually is the organizing section, but it is a popular section of the Dollar Tree. So I went to the organizing section and I found a couple of items. Number one, I found this acrylic desk organizer. I thought it would be perfect for my bathroom. So I went ahead and got it and I thought it'd be great to put like a toothbrush, my toothpaste, chapstick, because I'm always looking for those in the house. Like I don't wanna brush my teeth and then put my wet toothbrush in my get ready bin in the drawer. Like it just feels wet and gross and stuff. So I really do want it to air dry, but I just don't want it to sit hanging out all willy nilly on the counter. Other thing I found, I've been looking forever for this egg organizer that slips onto a shelf in your fridge. So if you need to save some space in your refrigerator, like I do, because I have a lot of food in there, like I can, I can save some space with the little egg thingy. I was very excited about it. It's $1.25. It doesn't work. <laughs> because I have the wrong kind of shelves. My shelves have a lip on the end, which means it wouldn't go onto the shelf. So you have to have the right kind of refrigerator shelves for this to work, and I do not. So that was a fail for me. I found a new cleaner, this time at Dollar Tree. I disinfect it, I tried it in my bathroom. The smell is this interesting like soapy lemon scent, but it seemed to work really well. The spray nozzle didn't like that, it was more of a stream when you use it, but for $1.25 for this really large bottle, I thought that was okay. Especially, we've got cold and flu season coming up. I am okay with a little more disinfecting when I clean. That Boulder Clean sanitizing spray that I found for $1.25, if you were to buy it elsewhere, over $5. And the new year is not even here yet, but I already saw 2024 planners. Can you believe it? I saw the booklet kinds, which I love because they have a month feature and a week feature. It's my favorite kind of planner. And because it's a little on the smaller side, I can fit it in my purse, which means it's always with me. And bonus, it's $1.25. And then your desk sized ones that go on your desk. Stating the obvious, but thank you. For 2024, those are also available. I put that one in my closet. I use command strips and put it up on the wall and I use it to do my exercise training for races or whatever I have signed up so I can see the entire month at a time. And I have my training planned out for an entire month. I noticed they have new plates. They're these amazing black and white kind of spider web looking plates and bowls. I thought they were gorgeous. So I picked one up and I was like, wow, could I convince my husband that we need these plates? Of course we don't need these plates, but we might need these plates. And I looked at it and I realized I was getting dizzy and it was creating this magic eye effect. <laughs> magic eye things? I can never do those. You remember the magic eye art things? Give me one of these in the comments. So I ended up leaving the dishes there, but I think they're beautiful. And if you don't get that weird magic eye thing, you should probably get them. I walked over to personal care in the baby aisle and you would not believe some of the items I found. I saw Fisher Price, like baby shampoo, baby lotions, baby body washes, and I scanned them. If you were to buy these at Walmart, they're $9. <gasps> what? And at $1.25, I was like, oh my gosh, buy them all. They had these like Fisher Price baby wipes too. You could buy four products for $5, put them in a little baggie, and you have the cutest baby shower gifts for really inexpensive. I couldn't believe it. The Sesame Street baby shampoo, I found it at Dollar Tree. If you were to buy it elsewhere, it would be $9. I found two packs of Irish Spring bar soap, $1.25. Elsewhere online, $6.79. I saw Colgate whitening toothpaste. I know for a fact I used to coupon with these products and they were four to six dollars each. They're at the Dollar Tree, can you believe it? Last item before we move on to food, everybody's favorite topic. Well, it's my favorite topic. So not only do they have these like heat wrap things, I've seen these before. You don't have to use them on your shoulder. You could use them on your lower back, which is where I get cramps. Look, they have like cramp heat patch that you could put on your stomach or your back so you can walk around and go about your business 
but it feels like you're laying on a heating pad for not that much money. I am very excited about these. These are going in my purse and my car and everywhere I can think to put them so I don't have to feel miserable while trying to pretend that I feel fine. I feel fine. Have you used them? Do you like them? Let me know down below. It's food time. Let's talk about Dollar Tree food. Number one, I found the crunchy rice rolls. These are the exact item that Costco sells. They're just in a smaller package, but they're the same. Do you guys buy those crunchy rice rollers from Costco? They are awesome. And if you're runners and you want just a little something before you go running, but you don't want your stomach to be upset, I have found these to be very, very good. The Texas style cornbread mix is back. Now you can take these and you can make Johnny cakes. I did that for an extreme grocery budget video a very long time ago. I feel like it was two years ago now, but you could also just make cornbread. There's a little bit of sweetness in there, a little bit of honey. So if you're on team no sugar and cornbread, maybe this isn't for you, but if you're normal, then you'll really like it. Did she really say that? I eat cornbread with melted butter and honey on it anyway. So if the cornbread's a little sweet, I am not here to complain about it. They have a six count of English muffins. This is an amazing price, $1.25 for six English muffins, fan, Fantastic. I'm not a big fan of the bagels that they have. I'm only like four in the package and they smell a little weird, but the English muffins are great. I found entertainment crackers, an entire full size, normal size box that you would get at any other store for $1.25. So if you wanna have some people over, make a charcuterie board, go to the Dollar Tree, they'll never know. The cookies. Oh my friends, the cookies. We'll get to the cookies later in this video. So hang around to the end if you wanna see that. I found full-size monsters for $1.25. You buy monsters at the grocery store, they're over $2. If they're not on sale, they're pushing $3, honestly. I can, I see them on sale sometimes for like $1.67 sometimes. But at that price, $1.25, like it makes me wanna break my rule to my husband that I won't drink energy drinks anymore because I said I wouldn't drink them, so I'm not drinking them anymore. But at that price, it's really hard not to drink them anymore. <laughs> I found the Cinnamon Toast Crunch spread. What? This was almost $4 at Walmart. In fact, I bought it from Walmart when I did a Cinnamon Toast Crunch taste test video just to see. Listen, I, I think the spread is a little weird. It's like a little waxy and not that sweet. It's a very odd product, but if you wanted to try it, it's a Dollar Tree now. I think because it probably didn't sell very well. I found the Pacific brand of chicken broth. This is a top brand. This is an expensive brand of chicken broth at basically the same price that you're gonna get the great value brand at Walmart. So I think you should run to Dollar Tree and buy them all. I also saw Buffalo style mayo, massive bottles. I think they're 22 ounces, enormous bottles. So I don't know why those are there either. Perhaps they didn't sell very well, but it's a name brand. It's a huge bottle. If you love Buffalo style wings, why not try it out? I also found marshmallow fluff. It's like $1.57 at Walmart and it's $1.25 at Dollar Tree. So it's a slight savings, it's not a big deal. However, I realized that my kids had never had a Fluffernutter sandwich before, ever. So I bought it and I made them a Fluffernutter sandwich and I gave it to them so they could try it. My 16 year old's reaction was not what I thought it would be. <laughs> what on earth is this? I mean, I like it, but it's really weird. Okay, we have to move into the cookie section. They have a ton of flavors of cookies, sandwich cookies, ginger snaps, Girl Scout cookie dupes that are really convincing. Those Thin Mints, you pop those in the freezer, you'll eat a whole sleeve without even thinking about it. But I wanted to check out the rest and tell you what I thought. So let's head over and do that right now. Should we kick it off with ginger snaps? I love ginger snaps. Oh my gosh, you know what I could do with these? I could eat crumble them. them all up into crumbs and use it as a pie base like a cheesecake crust. That would be really good, but then we wouldn't have any more to eat. Oh, they're snappy. 10 out of 10 recommend. Very good. Next up, I have seen this cookie, like maple cookies at Aldi, I think, or Trader Joe's, I'm not sure. I okay. didn't realize they were so small. These are disappointingly small. Well, I like small food. I, <laughs> I hate small food, you know? Not small portions, just Bite size. Smaller. And so you can do more of this. Yes. Okay, ready? Ready? Go. I wish there was more filling. It's so small I can barely taste it. <laughs> I give it a nine out of 10. I'd say eight. Iced oatmeal or non-iced oatmeal? Probably iced. Vote down in the comments. Iced oatmeal or oatmeal? I feel like if you can get iced, why wouldn't you? Definitely. Clink. I love it. 
This one's good. I give it an 8 out of 10. 8.5. Mm hmm. What about the non iced? Here. Oh, wait. Is it better? Is it better? No. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not better. <laughs> these are the exact dupe of the fudge stripes by the Keebler elves, and for some reason, these all melted together. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10. I don't know that it's 10 worthy. Nine. But it's good. I'll give it a nine. Fudge covered cookie filled with peanut butter spread made with real peanuts. Yum. I'm a huge fan of the Girl Scout tag along cookie, which is this. Yeah, me too. They're good. Little melty. It's a little melty. I love peanut butter. I would also eat a whole box of these. Yeah, these are these are a ten. I'll take those for later. Fudge covered graham rounds. I don't know that this is a Girl Scout cookie dupe. I'm not sure. Oh no. What is with <laughs> what is with all these cookies? It's like the Jenga of cookie. I would need some water. They're a little dry. I love it. Nine out of 10 for me. I give it an eight. 8.5. If you didn't like graham crackers, I could see how you wouldn't like it. But because they're covered in chocolate, the graham cracker isn't as dry as a normal graham cracker. It's more moist. It's a moist graham cracker. If you hate the word moist, give this video a like if you haven't yet. It's moist. <laughs> Almond windmills. Oh, well, they're actual they're windmills. They're actual windmills. They smell like sugar. That is so dry. <clears throat> <clears throat> He choked on some chorizo! You know those Christmas cookie tins? And they have those cookies that nobody likes? That tastes like one of the cookies that is in that. I am obsessed with lemon flavored desserts. Ooh! It definitely smells like lemon. Mmm. It's a lemon Oreo. Mm-hmm. A dry lemon Oreo. I give it an mm, eight and a half. 8.75. Okay, wow. <laughs> I'm not really sure why I bought these because this is like a vanilla chocolate oreo combo mine fell apart actually mine already fell apart i might just do that on purpose so cheers <laughs> i don't know i'm gonna give it like a five it's not definitely not as good as the lemon no ones. the lemons are way better good call on that one tyler might i add samoans are infinitely times better than these samoa so samoans are people oh well <laughs> <laughs> Cut that out! <laughs> so we're gonna try this vanilla cream. That's just disappointing. Five or six. Five or six. I'm gonna give it a solid four. I love chocolate chip cookies. Like homemade chocolate chip cookies is probably one of my all time favorite cookies. Oh yeah. This looks like a really sad <laughs> subpar interpretation of that. Okay, ready and go. Why is it so crunchy? That's a good question. It's the preservatives. That's not very good. Chocolate chip cookies do not need to be crunchy. This is not very good. I give this one a four. It tastes like fake chocolate. Is this real chocolate? It has, listen, there are cocoa drops. What? That really sounds inappropriate. <laughs> what the heck is a cocoa drop? <laughs> blah, blah. No, thank you. Okay, coconut bar cookies? Yeah. I love everything coconut, except coconut water because that tastes like toilet water. Why do you know what toilet water tastes like? <laughs> it's what I would imagine toilet water to taste like. <laughs> this is a pretty strong stench. Strong stench. It's coconut. not, it's not stench, it's scent. It's not, stench means it's gross. It has a very strong scent. There we go, of coconut. Yeah. Strong coconut flavor. All right, let's, let's taste this one, ready? You know that metal tin of Christmas cookies that people bring to parties? <laughs> this is the one that you try and you hated it first. And then after about 10 seconds, you're like, oh, actually, let me go back for the rest of those. It gets more coconut as you chew. And then once you swallow, the coconut flavor stays in your mouth for some reason. What kind of sorcery is this? I don't even understand why the first bite just doesn't feel like coconut. It just tastes like a dry cookie. Try a, try a second bite and see if that one tastes like coconut. You're right, I do not understand this sorcery. I kind of love it. <laughs> 6.75. The more that you eat, the more you want to eat. I don't understand the packaging. These are butter rings. Yes, no, maybe, cookies. What is this? Each cookie says yes, no, or maybe. Oh, the cookies have all the answers, like a magic eight ball. Okay, we gotta ask it a question. Will Haley get married before she's 25? Yes! If the cookie says it, it must be true. Are there any cookies better than you? Maybe. 
Maybe. You know that metal tin of cookies <laughs> that people give as gifts in the holidays? I gotta get going. <laughs> this is the one that people take a bite and spit in the garbage. This is a zero out of 10. Why is it even a cookie? <gasps> it has no flavor at all. It's dry, it sucks all the moisture out of your mouth. The flavor is dry. There's not even sugar in these. That is horrible. <laughs> That's the worst. How dare they call themselves a cookie? Have you made? These are the fudge mint, fudge mint cookies. And they come in silver sleeves, just like the Girl Scout cookies. So. You can say, yes, husband, I will buy five boxes of the Girl Scout Thin Mint. Toss the evidence, stick these in the freezer, ba bow, you're golden. And you only spent a dollar twenty-five. Hey, did you hear the Dollar Tree is going back down to a dollar? I heard that rumor. I don't know if it's true. This is the rumor. Ready, set, taste. It's a 10 out of 10, go buy it now. Go buy all of them. Run to Dollar Tree. Run. Run to Dollar Tree now. You will not regret the thin mint dupes. I said what I said. This is the carnage. But that's not even all of it. There's some in the kitchen. I know. 